Hey Virgo, you and Libra, another sign one out for the first readings for the middle of August on. Congratulations for liking, sharing, watching, subscribing. Not so many comments, I would like a little more comments, commentary to me, but that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is in front of my Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus during this very manifesting time. Virgo, are you connected to a Pisces? Are you a Pisces cusper? A moon? What's in front of my Virgos? Please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do often. Uh, resonate more with my sun and my moon. My sun is a Taurus Aries cusp and my moon is an Aquarius. So you can always check that out. I do have a lot of Scorpio placement as well. Virgo, Virgo, sun, moon. Uh, emotions are running high. Supercharged moon, Virgo. What's going on in your life, my love? Virgo. What's the supercharged moon about? For Virgo, spirit, supercharged moon about. Mm. Flyer, another luck is on your side, moon in Sagittarius. Huh. So, are you dealing with Saggy? You never know. It could be their moon sign that's like hardcore on them. But you see that? It's almost like uh, the arrow of destiny, the arrow of love. You're directing where you want it to go. You're on the edge of your seat waiting for something. It's like you're gonna bust. Ah, oh, don't do that to me, please. <laughs> don't do that to me. Hey. I don't know why the hell we all sing, but we do. Sorry. Something I hum. That one felt right. Oh, a new romantic cycle begins. Emotions are running high. You're feeling those butterflies in your stomach, aren't you, Virgo? Look at that. That's a Libra, by the way. Libra, Saggy. Emotions are running high. Do you see how everything's like, boom, directed? This new full moon is about to bust, this eclipse. Um, maybe this just happened. Mm, mm, I don't know. Okay. Luck is on your side because a new romantic cycle is here or coming and it's making you feel, oh, you know, but you got to remember, don't lose, don't lose. Hey, bring love to that situation. I did see it, so I'm going to say it. Bring love. Bring love. Bring love. Okay. What are these cards about for Virgo? Spirit? Got knock. What's going on? What's going on in their love life and this luck? This new romantic cycle? You wanna, you wanna let me in on this? Huh? You hate me cards? Do you hate me? I see in three cups, by the way. Three cups. Huh. It's like you're about to bust. You got those butterflies going on. Some justice here. Justice served. Someone's being left behind. Someone's seeing they love you. And you're like, damn, it's about time. I mean, it could be anything, really. <laughs> We're going to find out. Justice was served. Karma restored. Luck is on your side. Sagittarius to Libra, maybe. Maybe that's why you and uh, Libra won out. <laughs> you guys are checking up on each other. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is luck on your side? Romantic cycle and emotions. Six of Swords, getting the clarity to move forward. You don't want to go backward. You want to move forward. Something better is up ahead for you. You are taking these swords 
and forging ahead. But I do want to point out he has like a wand. So I believe it's a passionate, concise movement. You want something new, so you are going. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ten of Cups, but you can see that Ace. This is a destined union. Cutting through the crap, having all of your cups fulfilled here. Mmm. Mmm. Let's get a few more, huh? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is luck on your side? And a romantic cycle begins. Something just happened during, um... Oh, star. Did something just happened during August 11th. The Lion's Gate for you. Seeing the world, too. I gotta say it if it stands out. The sun. Sorry, that did want to flip out my hand. Being noticed. Um, total, complete happiness, clarity, freedom. This is in the public eye as well. This is Leo. Um, That's what I think of strength in this. Leo. Complete happiness, complete clarity, the sun is shining, you know what I mean? You've come out of the dark of the moon and you've stepped into the light, you've woken up. The sun is parting the clouds here for that ace. You're leaving something else because you can feel this. That's why your emotions are running high. You can feel like the universe pulling you. You know what I mean? Like, hey, like I'm driving down this side road, but I usually take this way home. But I think I'll go this way today. I just feel I need to. Is this? This is the, the king of swords, right? Wisdom, intelligence, clarity, air sign. That is a Libra too. Okay, this is mask off, total truth out, clarity, seeing the path that you need to go, you know, forging ahead with truth, a real plan. Can't take all those, be crazy. <laughs> Crazy spirit. Six of Cups. Soulmate. Uh, there's a lot of our soulmates in the world, by the way. I come to that understanding of I go to people's life where I need to be. I help them heal. I give them love they've never had. That makes sense. And then they are healed and they are able to spread more love in the world, whether that be friendship, lover. That is what I'm good at, a healing. We have a lot of soulmates. Someone from the past meeting your soulmate. I think this is more, I'm being told, meeting by chance, as I was just saying. You really need to pay attention to everything I say. Sometimes I talk because that's spirit coming through me. Meeting my chance, taking the different path. Okay? You felt you needed to take a different path. You stumble upon this person because you felt, I should go down this way. And they're going to make your emotions run high. Okay? It could just be a past lover, a past person you're seeing clearly about, and your feelings for, but this is what I'm feeling. <sighs> Give me more clarity, please. More clarity. You're being watched by your divine counterpart. This is the star, by the way. This is the opposite side, though. A soul contract that was made. You know, you don't you don't see them yet. Yet, but there is a lot of healing here. A lot of love. Divine counterpart. You see all those shooting stars? The universe is backing this. This is luck. 
this is abundance. <laughs> Sorry about being so like blah blah blah. This abundance. Abundance. We have the full. This is Aries and Pisces. We have Aquarius. Aries and Pisces. Leo. Sag and Libra. Take it how you want. When their major arcana is. I bring them out. Taking a chance on the person on the path. Brings you. To the person you are supposed to meet. Hands down point blank. And you're like damn. That's how this new romantic cycle begins. By <laughs> Nine of Cups, which fulfillment. By taking or doing something, you know, kind of out of the ordinary that you wouldn't normally do. And that's even maybe contacting a person that, you know, you wrote off from your past. But one night you're like, oh, maybe. You know, I'll just see what they're doing. But they've grown. They've grown. And you automatically, you know what I'm s Let me know what's going on. This is juicy. This feels so light-hearted. Butterflies in my stomach. Light. Airy. Like, I've waited so long to feel this. Queen of Cups. Just knowing. Sitting there with your scrawl, just knowing, nurturing, intuitive. You feel it. You feel it. This was what I was supposed to do. This night. This is what I was supposed to do. Six of Swords again. She is boldly facing the future. She doesn't know what the hell's up there, but she's going. She's like, you yeah, know, I'm just going to go. I'm just, I'm just going to go. Six of Wands, sorry. Victory, passion, fulfillment. Ted Juan, see, you were single. This is my widow card in this deck. You were single, completely in your own power, very cutthroat. I don't need your bullshit. Sorry, I don't deal with little boys. I don't deal with little girls. I'm completely happy. Well, that's you coming out of that one. It's because you had a heartbreak. And you feel like you've been on this very long journey by yourself. And you take this normal path all the time, but this time you didn't. This time you didn't. I mean, just a small detour. They may have been spying on you for a little bit. Or this just could be, you know, very quick communication that leads to this. There we go. But by you just, like, being yourself and, and doing your normal crap, but taking, like, a, a different turn, it, it, it leads to this. It leads to this. One more card, please, for Virgo about this situation. We got her again. One more card about this situation, please. One more card. You're just going to take a chance. You're taking a chance. You're, you, there's change coming. Big change. Virgo. Hey. Hey. Spirit. What postcard from the universe do you have to add to the story about Virgo? Please, someone rising in Venus. What do you have to add to the story for my Virgos? Someone rising in Venus your counterpart. I don't like to use the word twin flame. People stick in these relationships because they've been telling us they're twin flame and they're completely bullshit to them. Don't do that to yourself. Work on your damn self. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that, okay? Also, Libras, um, like the Justice is what I'm seeing here, is also like Taurus. Alright? One more shuffle for Virgo, please, about this situation. Alright, I guess I don't get one. <laughs> Ooh, we have something exciting to share with you. You are a manifesting master and you don't even know it. <laughs> That's the luck. 
<sighs> there will always be enough of everything that you need in your life. Money, opportunity, love, kindness. So whatever you're asking guidance about, have faith and be open to the many ways in which you will experience prosperity. Spirit is the source of your supply. Okay. Spirit is the source of your supply. The universe is always reflecting back to you what you believe. So whenever you fall into insecurity, you will be shown an illusion as if your fear were real. But the truth is that the universe is abundant. You are and always have been enough. And abundance is your natural state. If you can imagine something consistently is truth, you can and will create it. You are so on the right path now. Keep believing and the scene will happen. That is you taking that, that chance little tiny detour. You know, like tonight I didn't take my normal way home from work. I took this little tiny turn to bypass this railroad, railroad track actually end up getting me to the bank in time to be able to deposit my check because the cutoff was like in five minutes and usually I miss it. You see what I'm going here? This chance meeting that's like it's breath fresh air. Alright Virgo babe. Um, if you want a more direct reading my information is down below. Please get it. It's only $15 for like a spread. If you want a real in-depth, like five more cards added, more explanation, that's you're gonna have to double the price. But I'm super inexpensive to get you some clarity. Um, contact me. Thank you.